Yo, what? Oh my God, bro! Oh, dude! Oh my God! Mm. Rooster teeth. Rooster teeth. Rooster teeth. Rooster teeth. Yo, I mean. Granted, granted, I am calling bullshit on this because she, she's not dead. Obviously, she she is not dead. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for my review. Uh, the first review of 2018 of Ruby Volume Five, Chapter Eleven. Wait, is it Eleven or hold on? It, yeah, Chapter Eleven. Yeah. Yo, okay, granted, I did see this way before because, again, somebody uh, has a membership to Rooster T, and I was like, wait, this already came out early, probably, obviously, and he says, yes, originally, it came out on uh, New Year's, no, I'm sorry, the day before New Year's Eve on December 30th, 2017, however, I know YouTube isn't going to get it until this weekend so i'm gonna wait until youtube actually drops with the episode but unless since this episode was so huge they somehow managed to spoil most of it especially yo oh yo i swear to god oh don't do this to me please now i'll call him bullshit yo she, she's not dead obviously she's not gonna die but you know i could be wrong we might get our first major death. I'm hoping not. I am hoping not. I, I am I am hoping this is not gonna be the case. Cause y'all, I, I swear to God, Booster T. Mm. We coming for you, nigga. Yep, indeed. We coming for you, nigga. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. Exactly, man. You don't. No, you don't No, all right, yo, you see this right here. This is the little chibi whatever I mean, I want to get the big form of this <laughs> the big form I want to get the bigger version of the vinyl figures. This is just a little mini mini uh, surprise ones You can get it's Weiss. It's a snow queen. You do not kill One of my main bit. Okay, granted. I mean Yang is still one of my top but when it comes to Shekito, the Ice Queen, what? No! If you do this, oh, there is going to be major, major problems. Like, just, oh my god. That cliffhanger no jutsu right there. All right, let's just talk about the actual episode. So, we finally get, you know, most of the gang are finally to where uh, Lionheart's, you know, actual college, you know, the actual school or the actual do the college that you know he has, or just no, not the college, the the school that he actually has, or whatever in the uh, in the dorm, the auditorium, whatever, the main hallway. And what happens is, is that not only do we see Cinder, but we also see some of the other members of a group as well actually join along. And then, yo, of course we have say like oh I meant Salem, sorry, not um Cinder, Salem's. We them boys and girls, of course, join into the fray, and then, of course, with Cinder being, you know, the full maiden, and because of Swan, it's like, you, I remember, I'm going to get revenge, oh, God. getting revenge for Farah, he's like, yo, you bitch, I'm getting my revenge because of what you actually have to put, because of you, because of what Ferret did, I'm going to revenge myself. It's not just, you know, a friend. Like, this dude, th this girl was also a potential love interest with Juan as well. And apparently, Juan, the dude was pissed. Like, yo, the massive hype we got with Juan. He's just like, mm, like, he just whips it out. Like, <laughs> whip it out. 
on, Sammy, baby. Whip it out. Yeah, whip it out. Like, yo, he had the sword. Because she's like, who are you again? And Sean's like, oh, bitch. No, no, you did it. Yo, you did it. You're fucking with the wrong dude. It's like, yo. Like, I know Schwan doesn't have, I know Juan doesn't have, like, the most strongest potential aura, but, yo, that moment to give character development towards him was massive, massive, massive props. So, that was really great. And especially the way he just breaks down and shit. And then, of course, we have a fight going on. So, there's a lot of fights that are going on in this episode or chapter. So even Juan doesn't really have a semblance at all. He's still putting up a decent fight against Cinder. So props to Rooster Teeth with that. That was amazing, amazing shit. That was actually really good. Then, and especially the other fights going on. Let's talk about the other fights. The other fights in this episode too were just phenomenally well done. They were absolutely phenomenal. They really were. And the fights themselves were just absolutely great. Um, definitely love the choreography of the fights. And of course, we have Crow going up against Raven, which, yo, let's go! That shit is getting me massively hype against Crow and Raven. Yo, that is a fight that I am really, 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 oh my god, looking forward to, man. It's, ugh. It's nuts. I can't wait. Oh my god. And then we have the other fights going on with Ruby and then the other chick. And then we got that that other guy. Oh, uh, uh, it's the uh, the beast dude. I believe, yeah, it's that beast, uh, that beast dude. That uh that beast dude, whatever it is. And then of course we have Ruby fighting off against that chick. I forget her name, but the green hair. I don't remember exactly, but we have all these fights going on. And obviously the fights looked mad impressive. They looked a lot better compared to the other previous fights that we've gotten throughout the season and to me i think this was one of the best fight choreographies we've gotten in a very long time and then we had that one scene where it's like you know ruby just hockeyed up like she was in one piece or something where she just like basically like her eyes just glow into the silver eyes and the way she was going to break out and then all of a sudden like, she was already go she was gonna go out of control and i'm like holy shit so we all thought that was gonna happen but in reality, though, what happens is, is that she pretty much gains the control back. She's like, no, then like all of a sudden, like, no. Then all of a sudden, she's like, yo, pay attention, bitch. It's like, yo. So Ruby always going up that mental breakdown, and then all of a sudden, while Weiss, the very yo, let's talk about the very end of this episode. Let's talk about the very end of this episode. Now again, I do not think Weiss is going to die. I obviously doubt it. Something is going to happen with the injury could be possibility until we see like the wound or whatever or something that could really affect her i don't think weiss is gonna die i don't think she would i don't think they would kill off like a main character like what if they did if they did i could smell the phantom getting pissed off and you know what including me because it's like yo i mean weiss is a very cool ice queen character and it really sucks if she has to bite the dust dude it would really really blow like the end of the episode where all of a sudden it's like okay you know what she's like so you think you're just gonna fight me aren't you gonna pay attention to who you're gonna save next and she wants like what the fuck and then we see her yeah like she's like fucking guilt thunder like the maintenance are no joke man obviously the maintenance are one of the top tiers of ruby and we see her and she's like Ugh. like she's pulling the guilt thunder from seven deadly sins it's like yeah, and then the spear goes directly shot through the heart, and you're too late. Oh, and Weiss gets shot, bam, pierced her right there, and that's where the episode ends off. Schwan, Juan is like freaking out because of the situation, and that is where this episode ends. Whoo! What a chapter, man. Oh my god, dude. All right, yo, I'm done. Oh my god, this chapter was nuts, man. It was like one of the craziest things. Like the invasion, and then of course they're finally finding out that Lionheart... Oh yeah, I forgot to tell one more thing too, about the whole Lionheart and Oscar scene. That was good. It's like, yo, little boy, you you know, step back. Like, this is none of your concern. Like, don't get yourself involved. Like, who the hell do you think you're talking to? You're talking to the embodiment 
of Ospin. He's like, oh shit, like, Nani? It's like, yeah, and then he like sees him and he's like, oh man. So he knows he's messing with the wrong kid. So this episode overall was just Looney Tune insane. The end of this episode, I know a lot of people are freaking out right now, but in my impression, I don't think she's gonna die unless we truly see it. But yo, that cliffhanger was just, oh man. Bruh, all right, I'm done, I'm done. This right here might be my new favorite episode of the season right here. Definitely goes to Volume 5, Chapter 11. I'm giving this one automatic, yo, already a... You already know it's a 5 out of 5, man. And, I mean, this and the other chapter that I gave, I think, a 5 out of 5 was the one where we ended off... Yeah, actually, yeah, because it was the one where, like, Blake's arc finally ended... And the way it was executed was like well done and yeah i think i gave that one i think a five was it a five probably a five or 4.5 but i think it was a five like overall like oh my god like holy shit, dude all right so another five out of five yo the quality is starting to finally get better within the season i mean that again granted i mean yeah don't get me wrong we had a bit of a slow start this season but now things are finally starting to build up I'm really hoping we don't go for this whole 13 chapter route. I hope we keep continuing, but hopefully we're not going to just only be like two more chapters. Let me know in the comments if we're going to be going out to 13 chapters or we're going to expand it even more to like 15, 16, maybe, maybe like a whole 24, 25 episode anime or something like that. I don't know. But regardless, though, it's pretty crazy. But the way things are turning out, I do have a feeling that we might be wrapping up this volume quite soon though from like the way things are going but let me know in the comments until then that's basically it let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of this chapter of ruby chapter 11 of volume 5 and i'll see you guys next week for volume 5 chapter 12 don't forget to rate comment and subscribe as always don't forget to click the bell to join the squad please to get those notifications follow my social media plugins and gamer tags as well Peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky is the limit. And my manga fans, keep supporting what you read, what you watch, and pray for Weiss. Pray for Weiss. Don't make her die. Rooster Teeth, we got problems. I I'm watching you, man. The, the, the drop kicks are coming, man. I'm coming. It's coming. I, 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 I warned you about Crow. Don't make me warn you again about Weiss, because... Oh, come on. That that that's cool. Yo, come on. I'm done. I'm done. All right.